April 15, 2020, deep into this isolation, still by myself at the studio, about to go crazy. And I thought it would be interesting to make a short video about different timing using the interval mode in Xangle. <laughs> I'm currently using 176 cameras in this studio and the interval mode is simply the delay between one camera to the other when we're triggering. Of course we can freeze the time, we can trigger all the, all the cameras at the same moment and my first example is going to be frozen but then I'm going to go from 1 to 6, 12, 24 and 48 milliseconds just as a demonstration. All of that is triggered by USB from the computer sending the signal to the cameras and, and then the MP4 that you see are nearly straight out of the camera. I apply the color grading in Premiere but that's about it. All of my shots are rewind just because I thought it was cooler this way. And you see also a few shots that are in seamless mode. So when I'm doing a regular interval, I'm going from camera one to camera 176 in the triggering. But in the seamless mode, I always have two cameras triggering at the same time. So one and 176, two and 175, etc. But on the playback, I'm playing the files in the right order, so it's always spinning in the right direction, but the movement is shown from two sides within the same loop. So left and right, north, south, yin, yang, zig, zag. And I'm going to end up that video with simply the sound of the triggering of the cameras because